Hey guys, Nayash here. So I'm getting bored with this stock mobile OS, whether it's Samsung One UI, MIUI, Oxygen OS, or just plain stock Android. Basically, everything looks same. So in this video, I will show you top five non-conventional mobile OS that you can replace with your stock mobile OS. And if you want to install them, make sure you watch this video till end. So let's begin. At number 5 this Fusia OS, it was Google's project to make it Android alternative. Obviously that didn't work out, Fusia OS was meant to take Google's material design to next level. As you can see this animation was super smooth, super sleek and it was about to give multitasking a new life. People are getting bored with Android and iOS so Google decided to make this amazing new operating system called Fusia OS. Unfortunately that didn't work out. In 2016, somebody leaked their secret source code on GitHub. And that's how it was revealed that Google is working on new OS called Fusia OS. So this was not only meant to replace Android or Chrome OS, the plan was to create a unified OS that work on any device in the world. And that would make more money for Google using their apps and Google services. So just like me, if you want to install this Fusia OS interface on your phone, I will drop how to install video in description. At number 4 we have Flyme OS. Now this is Meizu's exclusive software which you can install on other phones. Flyme OS gives you features of next level. The theme engine is really strong, the colors are vibrant and you can completely change the user interface of your phone. It might look like Xiaomi's MIUI but it's way ahead in performance. If you are a fan of PUBG then try playing PUBG on Flyme OS. On the Flyme OS your phone doesn't overheat for hours of playtime. And the amazing thing is you can easily install Google Play Store. So even if you install Flyme OS, you can still use your favorite apps from Play Store. I recently made a step-by-step -step video how to install Flyme OS on your phone and as always that video will be down below. At number 3 we have Puffin OS. Now Puffin OS is completely web-based OS. All the apps and storage is on the cloud. Company that started Puffin OS is called Cloud Moza, and they didn't learn anything from the failure of Nextbeat. If you remember, Nextbeat was the first phone that used to provide web based app and storage. So, Puffin OS is basically Android without Play Store, and all the apps are on the web. That's the difference. And the only thing they don't mention on their website is that to run Puffin OS is a $12 monthly service fee which I don't think mobile users want to pay right now. And as far as security is concerned, I don't think you want your personal data to go through some company's server which is not even big or reputable right now. At number 2 we have Selfish OS. Now this OS is known for its privacy and the security it provides. So what's unique about this OS is first of all it's not based on Android. This is completely different OS and open source and it greatly resembles Linux. So Selfish OS is highly independent and adaptable alternative. But because they want to reach to wider audience, they have implemented Android app support. And that actually defeats their purpose of security and privacy. But to me, alternative and independent status is just a bonus. What I like about Selfies is the interface. While the software is very smooth to interact, multitasking is bliss. Unlike Android, you don't need to go all the way up to see your quick setting that resides in the right swipe. It can be accessed from any screen. Even though it's a great mobile OS, world is dominated by Android and iOS. So selfish OS will never be the main mobile OS for people. At number 1 we have Kalinate Hunter. Now what is Kalinate Hunter? It is one of the world's most advanced hacking OS that you can install on your phone. Now Kali 800 is used for wireless injection, keyboard attacks, basically with this OS you can hack your neighbor's Wi-Fi. Of course it's not recommended and now because of Magisk it can be installed on almost any Android phone in the world. 